evening and welcome to the Office of Compliance. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. We pause for a moment as we reflect on the day that was. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We listen now to the hymn for Compline before the ending of the day. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonor my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvelous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Let us pray. Give us today, O God, a glad heart and a clear conscience that when we come to this day's end, we may rest in peace with Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah chapter 30. Thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved. 
in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Today we join the Anglican Communion in praying for the Diocese of Kimberley and Kuruman in our province of Southern Africa, for the Reverend Carol Starkey, the Vicar General, we pray for the Diocese of Kindu in Congo and for the Most Reverend Zachary Katanda, the Primate. We pray for the Diocese of Kinkizi in Uganda and for the Right Reverend Dan Zoreka. With our Link Diocese of York, we pray today for Carlisle Cathedral and for the Dean the very Reverend Mark Boiling. For the people of the Diocese of Cape Town, we pray today for the Venerable Joshua Lowe as he prepares for his consecration as the next Bishop of Table Bay. We hold before God his family and pray for the Reverend Professor John Clarkson as they spend time together in silence and in prayer, seeking God's face before Father Joshua takes on this new journey. We join the cathedral community in praying for those who are sick. For Mtunzi Malunga, Evan Klink, John Coulson, Ivan Hannibal, Sandra McGregor, Doris Foreman, Millie Extian, Sarah James, Iris Bolton, Sonia Lawrence, Colin Farby, and Marsha Callender. We all also before God those who have gone before us as we pray for Paul Newham, Mary Dorset, Nyameka Goniwe, and Nathaniel Julius. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. In a moment of silence, we also offer to God our prayers and petitions for our loved ones. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us well in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless you and watch over you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you his peace. Amen. The church today remembers Sophie Gray, who was an architect, a church administrator, and a church designer. And so as we give thanks to God for her life and her witness, and for the missionary journey she undertook with her husband, Robert Gray, first Bishop of Cape Town, we conclude our service this evening with the hymn, We Love the Place, O God. Good night. Thank you.